Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today, in today's video I would like to show you what are the first extensions I like to install as soon as I get my hands on a GNOME based distribution. Even though Pop! OS is moving away from GNOME, most extensions still work out of the box. So, the first one I usually install is user themes, as you can see here on extensions.gnome.org. Uh, it's right on the first page. This one is essential if you want to install any themes from the GNOME Look store. Uh, then I also like to install the sound input and output device chooser because as you can see in vanilla Pop! OS you can't really choose what device to use and sometimes for example me I am on a desktop so sometimes I don't have any sound coming from my screen because sometimes it's um, the output is right here and this is like if I had something connected to my computer that would work but as I'm not using that I am using the inbuilt speakers on my screen I do need HDMI or a display port to have some sound and as you can see the microphone here I am using this one, this is a, a USB microphone that I have and it's really well done, it's simple and fast to choose what device to use. Then the next, this is like the most important one, is caffeine because I really hate having to log in every time I look away from my computer. I could actually make it to... So it would um, lock me out after 10 minutes, but I don't like it. I like it when it's like 5 minutes if I'm doing anything that's not serious. But if something is serious, I like to, to just disable the lock screen using the caffeine extension. It's really practical and just sits there. Um, then I also like the clipboard extension, the clipboard indicator. It really helps me to um, to see what I have copied. For example, if I copy this and then like, I don't know, imagine I'm installing something on my terminal and this is a line of code, um, but then like I have to copy something before that, then I always have access um, on, my, on my clipboard. Somehow it's not, oh, okay, it was in private mode. So here you can see the other things I have um, copied because I've been installing some things today and trying some new software and yeah it's really practical you always have the things you you've copied there and the other one I've start I've started using this one uh, quite um, quite recently is uh, vitals and this one is quite interesting because it shows you basic information about your system like the temperature and the f voltage you're using fan the memory you're using the processor how much of it are you using uh, the core speeds the core percentages and even the network so yeah it's it's pretty useful it gives you some important information and that's pretty much it i also like to just for example choose random extensions and just see what they do you know i really love playing with extensions um for example even you have like this one it's like google earth wallpaper and you can have like weird things it's really cool actually. I, I think extensions is like one of the most interesting things we have on 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 GNOME. Um you even have this one, but I don't think it would work with Pop OS's dock because it's not the same as the Dome dock. But yeah, uh, I hope you like this video and I will see you in my next one. And if you have any suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them on the comment section. And sorry for my voice, I'm a bit sick today. And yeah, goodbye. Stay well.